what is up YouTube so we're starting today off in the truck uh, so we're on our way to go get another sled don't really know a whole lot about it dude hit me up on Facebook was like hey you'd be interested in something like this and it's a Pro X just a consumer model nothing crazy it's all you know normal red one it's either an O2 or an O3 I don't even know what motor it used to have or if it even has a motor. I know the handlebars and risers and stuff are missing off it, but I mean, it's complete from track, rear suspension, front suspension, the skis are there. The seat looked okay, hood tub looked all right, the picture he sent me, and I was like, oh, hell yeah, I love Pro X's. What do you want for it? And he tells me, nothing. He just wants to go with someone that can get some use out of it. He's like, oh, I'm your guy. So, we're head over there right now to pick it up, and uh, I'm hoping even if it doesn't have a motor, I'm hoping it has the exhaust there, and I'm hoping it was a 7 or an 800 specifically. Um, because if it was a 7 or 800, and if the motor is still there, blown up or whatever, I have, I can put a motor together for it. So, and uh, I don't know, for all I know, there's nothing underneath the hood at all. In which case, I'm not sure what I'll do with it. It'll probably be one of those long-term collect parts for a year type deals but either way i don't pass up free products so especially when it, it's less than an hour from me it was only 40 minutes away from my house so we're on our way right now to go get a free products well here it is my free products don't look too bad actually so i didn't know anything about the sled the dude said, sent me one picture of it. Asked if I was interested. I said, well, what do you want? He said, nothing. I was like, oh, hell yeah, I want this thing. <laughs> it actually has an engine in it. It still turns over. He's never tried to start it. The handlebars are gone, but there are handlebars under the hood. And uh, all the controls are still here. So you can see the brakes right here. And then uh, it's got a built throttle block and all that, which are under the hood currently. SOP intake screens and intake. I don't know how many miles it says it has, but um, oh, 2,130, if that's accurate. But yeah, got a pair of fly handlebars sitting right there because fly was the big thing back in the day. Now everybody runs different brands. I still like fly bars. It's got a MBRP race can, stock pipe, and all that, but it's a 600 small block. Here's a throttle for it. Somewhere over here, there's a tether. Oh, it's on the clutch guard. Old tether, I need to unplug that. Uh, let's see, SLP intake throughout. Um, pretty sure the motor stock. But, yeah. The second I seen it had a motor, I was like, dude, this thing has a motor. He's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, does it run? He says, I don't know. For some reason, the recoil is under the hood, but it still pulls over. And it's got good compression from the feel. I legitimately think this is a runner. I'm going to throw a set of bar risers on it, throw the fly bars under the hood on it, put all the controls back on, disconnect the tether, and probably if the recoil rope is long enough, run the cord <laughs> back through where it belongs. And we'll see if this thing runs. I mean, fuck it, don't look bad. The seat's ripped up, but the rest of the body all looks like it might have 2,000 miles. It has been beat on in its life, I can tell that for sure buy the, the old school skin stickers and stuff some old turn again hardcore want to be owned it or who knows but they had to put extra reinforcements on the tunnel so i assume the suspension bolts came loose at some point oh god it's slippery out it's got a decent 121 track probably inch and a half not perfect but decent Still got the old uh, resi right effect shocks in the rear and the fronts will be right effects as well. But 
they're just regular shocks. There's no reservoirs or nothing on these. So yeah, that's pretty freaking sick. I'm pumped about it. I mean, free sleds. I love free sleds. And the whole reason I got it is because dude noticed I had a thing for Pro X's on Facebook. So he started looking at my profile and he noticed we had some mutual friends and uh, he didn't have any money into this sled. He had it sitting around for years, got it, you know, for help with somebody or something like that. Thought his nephews would be interested in putting it back together. So his nephews would have something. They weren't interested in it. So the sled just sat. So he hit me up and I was like, told me, you know, hey, come get this thing. <laughs> I'm on my way. <laughs> yeah, that's sick though, sick. Uh, we'll do a little bit more with it here in a little bit, but I actually have to run and get dog food for those little bastards over there. Out there creating hell, dragging all their toys outside. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? Good boy, good girl. But I'm sure they probably want food because they've only been fed once today and it's like two in the afternoon. So, yeah. We'll get back to it here in a minute. All righty, $100 later, I have food for both the doggos. Went to move the old snail trail, put it on this, got in a rush, and uh, had the trail on this. It was about halfway, so this is like this. Well, my hand slipped off. This came down, this came up, hit me in the bottom of my jaw, and I chipped a couple of my front teeth. <laughs> Uh, that sucked. Not real bad, but enough I can feel it with my tongue. So that's cool. But we're going to rearrange some shit a little bit. We're gonna drag the old Ultra out of the garage, probably put it in a hole over there, or right there, or over there. Kind of where I don't already have junk sitting. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna get this Prux brought back inside, get it thought out. And uh, I'm going to go ahead, throw some random bar risers I have sitting around on it. See if we can get this thing to fire up. All right, we got the Prox in the garage. Just started getting her thought out. Cranked up a badass new heater. And uh, I don't think we're going to actually try to get it started in this video. But we're going to kind of look it over. So I already kind of went over the exterior of it. It uh really not that bad i haven't noticed any cracks in the hood or anything oh look at that that's some several flames drawn on it and got cracks in the paint but no actual cracks in the hood itself that i see so that's really cool it means this thing will probably clean up pretty good but let's have a look under the hood or a better look i should say because i've honestly not looked at this thing very much <laughs> uh, Oh man, I got a tow to stuff in the truck I gotta go grab too. So yeah, we got some fire taper, uh, inch and one eighth bars. I got some bar risers actually. That I can throw these on there. I like fly bars because I'm old school. People nowadays, they don't run fly like they used to. Everybody up here in Alaska, late 90s, early mid 2000s, everybody ran fly bars. So that's kind of cool. Looks like these have been cut down narrower too. Uh, what do we got here? Starter fluid. That's never a good sign. But it does feel like uh, she's got solid, solid compression. So it feels really nice. Pulling it over. What do we got here? Uh oh. Bar's falling. Looks like we got a head gasket. Could be a sign. Could be a sign. Yeah, she's kind of dirty, boys. She's kind of dirty. Got to get it cleaned up. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, there's some gross fluid on there. Not a ton of metal shavings, though. Not bad. Brake pads look good. I think this will be a runner, boys. I think it'll run. If you made it this far and you haven't already subscribed, I'm still at like 72% of 
of my viewers unsubscribed. So let's get that number down. My subscribe viewers up. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, back to this thing. Uh, it's got a tether of some sort here. So I'm probably going to, hmm, I don't know. I don't know what in the world we've got going on here. Random wires, random shit, hooked up, this, that. This looks like a Ski-Doo, not like a newer one, but like an old Ski-Doo tether. That's not really a Polaris one. They look totally different. No key. Got the controls here. I honestly, that would have been the original tether, would have gone there. Key, controls, recoil, choke. Uh, what? Why is this, is this a speed cable? Why is it ran up here? Uh oh. Got another O ring. It's not a good sign. <laughs> Means it probably has a bad gasket. Here's part of that. Oh, that's really ghetto. Alright, well, clutches are there. Hey, look at that. Found a rail extension. Another one in there? No. Oh, whoa. I think it's just the one random rail extension sitting on the bottom of the tub here. Belt sitting a little low in the secondary. It's all right. Probably swap that out with the roller team clutch. That's just the, the cutest little baby one. I don't even know what that would be for. 136, 144. Looks too small to be 121 to 136. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it'll run. I think somebody kind of ghetto fight it a little bit under the hood. But let's go grab our bucket of parts that came with this thing and see what's in there. All right, so far we found two head gaskets and one random rail extension. And I got this bucket full of old players parts. This is uh, drop brackets for the rear suspension. So you'd have a bunch of different places you can mount your skid. You don't see it too much on these Pro X's, but back in the 90s, this was actually a pretty common thing. Um, got some carb boots with a equalizer boost bottle. So that's likely garbage. See here, little things for a windshield. These are like gold. Brand new bolts for, I'm not entirely sure. It's for a player so. Oh wow, there's a lot of bolts in here for players. That shit's expensive. Let's see what we got here. EPI. Um, uh, driven clutch rebuild kit for P90. Right on. Oh, there's like a lot of money in this little bug or tote. Let's see, we got a bunch of snap rings from Polaris. Very cool. Exhaust gasket, not sure what for. A small box of some sort, I'm sure. Looks like a crankcase seal. That is probably, I don't know what side. I'll have to look up the part numbers. Got a little screw. I would bet this is for a uh, team secondary for Helix. More screws. Um, another old gnarly exhaust gasket. Lots more snap rings. Motor mount. More screws. Okay, anyways, I'm not gonna dig through all this stuff on video because that's gotta be like super boring. But it's in here, it's thawing out. We're gonna try to get this thing running. Not on this video though, sorry. Uh, but we're gonna get this thing cleaned up. Probably tonight, not on video, just clean it. And uh, try to get the snail trail out tomorrow. So a bunch of guys wanna go out and run on the 
race track that they have on Big Lake for cars. They want to go out and play around on that tomorrow, and they'll probably be racing cars too, I imagine. And then Sunday is oval racing, so we're going to be pretty busy here for a couple days. So stay tuned, we're making videos, and if you guys want, if you're in the area, out here in the valley, in Alaska, Connect Lake, this Sunday, which is like the 24th, I think, of January, noon, we're starting racing. So if you're in the area, come check it out, say hi, and uh, it'll be fun. Till next time.